Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is so lovely to see you today. In this video it's the start of a new month which means we'll be spending a week together. So grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. <laughs> So it is a start of another month. It is September, which I love the burr months, don't you? It's like chilly, it's cosy, you can wear your comfy clothes, you know? But uh, the sun's decided to come out now. It's been awful all through summer here in England. And now autumn's arrived, the sun has come back. What is going on? It's complete madness. But we're going to spend the week together. I am wearing some dungarees and a jumper because I've got jobs to do today. So we're going to be very task orientated today to try and punch out some of these jobs I need to get done. I'm not feeling great. And if you can see, here's a Mr Gizmo who is also not feeling too good today. So we're a right pair. So we're in our bedroom today. I need to edit a video and I need to clean my altar room. But before we get to all of that, don't forget if you're new here, you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Butterfly family. We would absolutely love to have you here. So don't forget to leave this video a cheeky like and a comment because all of these things are free and they help my channel to grow. But as always, the best way to support me here on the channel is to head to the description where there are links to Patreon and Ko-fi. These are really wonderful ways to support me here at the channel and over on the blog. Like these amazing Patreons right here who get a shout out every video because they are superstars. And I've started doing like little extra videos when I'm able to over on Patreon. So if you're interested, it's only two pounds a month. You get extra bits and bobs over there and I'm working on more. So, um, Go and check that out. But yeah, let's get to our day, shall we? So there is a witch tuber tag going around at the moment and um, Round the Cauldron, Megan at Round the Cauldron tagged any YouTubers who wanted to do it. And as I'm a really small YouTube channel, I doubt I'll get tagged specifically by someone. So I thought we'd take the opportunity to do the video. I recorded that yesterday. It just needs to be edited and uploaded, ready to go out this evening. So I'm hoping to get that done. So that's my first job of the day that needs to get a little ticky tock off. So I'm going to be doing that. I use Filmora to edit my videos. It is quite an expensive software. You have to pay yearly for it. But the great thing about Filmora is that it has all these added extras that you can download and include in your videos very, very easily, like my stickers that say subscribe and things like that, as well as the ring my little bell, the little t -t -t -t. they're all Filmora things. So if you're interested in getting into YouTube or looking for software program, it is wonderful. Not sponsored, I just really enjoy it and I've used it since I started, I think. But yeah, today we're just gonna be sat around <laughs> because I, I woke up tired. I woke up tired today and this is the thing when you have ME or chronic fatigue as most people call it colloquially, collo colloquially. I also found out I've got long COVID as well so brilliant. Uh, I'm having a lot of joint issues at the moment. My right ankle and hip keep subluxing so that is extremely painful and yeah I'm just not having fun at the moment. <laughs> just not feeling well. So I'm going to be parked at my computer for most of the rest of the morning. It's like 11 o'clock now. So I'm going to do some editing and then we're going to hopefully this afternoon clean my altar space, give it a dusting because I haven't done that. I haven't been at my altar space all that much and there's no particular reason why. I think it's just that I'm learning that I don't need to be sat at my altar with candles lit in order to do things for my gods and my ancestors. I can do things as acts of service and a big part of acts of service for my gods and goddesses is to look after myself and to really prioritise self-care and looking after my body while I'm in this massive flare. I think that is really, really important to just really prioritise looking after me. So that is something that we're going to be doing a lot of. And also another act of service is to clean in there and keep on top of things in there so they're in a nice, clean, comfortable area. 
so that's really important to me as well I think it's just important to note that you don't have to be at your altar to be doing things for your gods and goddesses if there is something that your god or goddess really believes in or really has associated with them you can do things for them for example if you do not have a dog but you work with a, a deity who whose dogs who has dogs as their as one of their animals like I have Diana and Hecate both work with dogs and so a lot of my acts of service to them are looking after my dogs I definitely do that for them like especially as my little gizmo gets older I find myself really prioritizing sitting with him and spending time with him as an act of service for them so there's lots of ways to do acts of service and I can do a full video about that if you would like just leave me a little comment down below but let's get on with some editing because I do not like editing but it has to be done <laughs> I like the recording I like the community I like everything about YouTube apart from the editing bit if I could remove that I would love it but anyway <laughs> let's get on shall we So I started recording this um, editing, I mean, I started editing this video at about half past 11. It's now two o'clock and I'm about halfway through. This is going to be a long video because I am waffly. I, I, I say a lot when I'm answering questions because I like to explain myself and my thoughts. So I think I'm going to go downstairs, have a break, have something to eat and a cup of tea, take my tablets, and then I'll be back to carry on. So I might not get to clean my altar space today, which is really disappointing, but we'll just see how it goes. That's all I can do. I can only do my best. So I'm going to have a cup of tea and some toast and a sit down. Well, I just had some toast and a cup of tea, and I took my little dog man. Let me get him. I took little Gizmo here. Hello, everyone. He's not feeling well. So I took him up the garden to have a wee wee. And um, he's going to go sleep on the bed in his favourite spot on his blanket. And I'm back here at the computer because I only got half of that video edited. It's going to be a long video. So if you've not yet seen it, it'll be linked down below. Because that'll be out like last week for you. I'm hoping I'll get it done for today. If not, it'll have to be out tomorrow. There's nothing I can do about it. But I do need to record Friday's video tomorrow. And what is the time now? I don't even know because I tell the time by my uh, video... Phone. Phone. Brain. Thank you. It's about half past two, quarter to three, somewhere around there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get this edited and out in time this evening for everyone to have watched. And I'm really hoping that you'll enjoy it. Go and give it a watch. I talk a lot about the community and what it's like to be a YouTuber on wit on in the witchy space. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoy it. So Definitely go and give it a watch. I'm out of breath now because I'm not feeling very well today. Yes, it's quarter to three, as you can see there. So I'm going to go and carry on doing my video. And I will see you, hopefully not in a couple of hours, but probably in a couple of hours. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, no. It's about half past four now. And I've only just stopped editing the video. It's a 40-minute video. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. I really hope that you enjoy that video. It will be linked down below. Right now I'm going to head downstairs. It's gone really warm. Like England's been cold and rainy and cloudy for the last couple of months. And now it's turned September and I want it to be overcast and cloudy and rainy. It's not. So I'm not happy. It's really warm. It's a bit too hot for me. I'm starting to feel unwell and I've been sat looking at a screen all day so i'm gonna go downstairs and chill out with my favorite doggy man and my mom i guess as well and we're just gonna watch neighbors we've we've got a lot of episodes to catch up on until new neighbors i've watched neighbors since the first episode when they started putting the series on we just started binge watching them i've watched everything again and it's been amazing i look like absolute hell i feel like it as well i don't feel well at all so i think we're gonna have some dinner um a little bit later and then i'm gonna have a shower but yeah not feeling great guys not feeling great at all oh 
Oh, it's been an interesting time. Last night I forgot to sign off because um, my dog Gizmo isn't feeling very well and we thought it might have been the change in temperature because it's suddenly gone warm and his hair was quite long he did need a, a groom. So we shaved him. He doesn't look too bad. I did quite a good job and I really enjoyed it. But um, he doesn't look too bad. But this morning he's still not right. So we're going to take him to the vet. So I'm just going to have a quick shower and we're going to take him. So... Excuse this quick rushed thing to camera. <laughs> oh, I hate to be dramatic, but he's my best friend. So if he's sick, everything else gets pushed to the side. Even you guys, even my butterfly family. And we're going to go and take him to the vet and hopefully he will be okay. Usually they just like check him out. They're really good vets, actually. Usually you find with dogs, you give them like, they give them an injection, some antibiotics and they're fine. So... We're hoping it's that, but he's 16 years old, so he's he's an old man, so we like to take extra, extra care of him. So we're going to check out how he is, and uh, I'll report back afterwards, because I don't want to be recording and stuff in the vets. I'm going to be just concentrating on my baby. I hope you understand why this is so rushed. I'm going to have a quick shower and get dressed. Well, we got back from the vet not too long back. Gizmo had some bloods taken and we're just trying to get him to go for a, a wee so we can get a urine sample. I'm hopeful we can do that. He's not feeling great though, bless him. So he is snuggled up to me. Yeah, he's snuggled up having, having a love at the moment. I do need to record a video, so I'm going to be doing that in a bit. That's for Friday. So that'll be out by now. That's the thrift haul. So I'll put that in the description as well but at the moment i'm just chilling just had a cheese salad sandwich and some beetroot it was delicious i love beetroot and now i'm just chilling really with my doggy who's not feeling well that's it he's okay he just has some medication to take and we'll just have to see how his blood tests and things come back poor little baby hello i've not spoken to you for a while i've just spent the afternoon cuddling my dog and looking after him really haven't really done much else and now i'm here subtitling a 45 minute video it's taken ages but i do have a whole video about how i do my subtitling so uh check that out i'll leave a link it's all well it's always linked it's always linked down below so if you're a youtuber go and check that out but yeah you can edit the auto generated subtitles so that's what i do and so i'm just getting that done and then i can get that video out so that'll be out by the time you see this and there'll be time for a hot chocolate and some tablets and bed what an exciting day i'm sorry i couldn't bring you around for much of it just because it's been one of those days where it's been all about looking after my dog so yeah and where he's concerned like i don't care about anything else if he's ill that's my that's all i care about but his blood test has been sent off he's had a urine sample sent off so hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll find out what's going on or i don't know how long it takes actually maybe by friday i don't know but um either on here or over on instagram probably the best way to find out what's crackalacking with my little boy but he's asleep downstairs at the moment while i just get this done i'm sure he will be looking forward to bed just as i am <laughs> so i'm gonna get on with this and i will see you guys in a little bit well as you can see mr gizmo is still not feeling good so he's having a rest bless him it's about half past nine now we're gonna get into bed i'm so tired <laughs> been a bit of a busy day but I managed to record a video I got another video out I rested a lot on the sofa we went to the vets with the dog yeah so I got I did things today so that feels good but uh looking forward to bed that's for sure <laughs> oh I do need to make up my mum's bed for her so she can come to bed but my main priority right now is just all I can think about bed go to bed Beverly but yeah we've got fans on it's gone really hot in england now the last couple of months have been really horrible but it's really warm here now can't win because now it's autumn i don't want summer weather or an autumn weather but anyway <laughs> i hope you're enjoying this little journey with me through the madness that is my life the chaos that i live through and i'm just looking forward to a good night's sleep 
My husband's gone out because he's learning to play the drums. He really loves drumming. And the place where he has lessons invited him to like an open mic night where their band goes up and plays and they replace the members with people who are learning so they can get what it feels like to be on stage. I was going to go with him, but... With a pearly little man here, I knew I should stay home. And I'm glad I did because they're usually really loud and, you know, that can make my pain and everything worse, you know? You know what I mean? So, fun. But I've enjoyed my evening. Spent it with my mum. We were watching Neighbours. We're trying to catch up before the new Neighbours starts. Who's excited for new Neighbours? Tell me down below. Are you excited for new Neighbours? Because I flipping am. As I was saying, I'm going to make up my mum's bed and then I'm going to get in bed myself. Yee! Don't ask me what that was. I don't even know. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm back here at the computer. It is Wednesday afternoon. My morning was spent asleep. I uh, started feeling unwell. I think it's because the weather this morning was really like overcast and really... What's the word I'm looking for? Foggy. Yeah, it was like foggy and misty. Really autumnal. And now it's really hot and sunny. And because of that changing in the weather and the air pressure and all that sort of thing, I just started feeling really, really ill. So I just had a nap, took some tablets, and here we are. Luckily this morning I wrote most of my blog posts. I just want to refine it and change a couple of bits because I wrote it when I wasn't feeling well. And I think there's some bits that I added in there that don't really make sense. So we're going to attempt to change that and hopefully it'll all come together. But that's the plan this afternoon. I've got to get my blog post out and then we're aiming for a good night's sleep because tomorrow night is Doctor Who RPG night. Except for it's not Doc, Doctor Who this week. I'm I'm playing, I'm trying a new game. I'm with a different group this week. So we're doing something car cartillary or something. Cartillary? I don't know. But we're trying that out to, uh, tomorrow night. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll hopefully do a little bit of a video of it. But I might be too scared again. So if I'm too scared, sorry. Um, What else was I going to say? That's about it really. So we're going to chill out. I've got my fan on. Try and keep my temperature down and I'm just going to do some writing and get a blog post out and that will be about it. We're not doing a lot today. We're really not. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're feeling better than I feel today. I'm really struggling today so blame the weather. We're going to try and get some work done. I just thought I'd come and sit outside for a minute. Today's been really not great. Um, my little dog Gizmo hasn't been well all night. We were up and down all night looking after him and Dexter as well. They both had upset tummies. We assume it's because of the chicken, but we gave them cooked chicken um, because the vet said it would encourage Gizmo to eat. But I think it upset their tummies, so they were up all night being sick and having diarrhoea. So we were cleaning that up all night. So we didn't sleep at all. So this morning I literally just snuggled up on the sofa with my dog and fell asleep. So I feel okay now. Um, I've just had a shower and I'm going off to the role play night in a bit. So I just thought I'd come and sit out. I just tell you how bit pants my day's been, really. But that's how it goes sometimes. When you've got chronic illnesses, your day's just sometimes rubbish. Um, <laughs> that's just the way it is, really. There's not much can be done about it, but we've managed to get a load of washing done, and we've been quite productive today, even though I feel like I've done nothing. I've, I kind of have, so yeah. don't feel too bad. Uh, I've got a new dress on. It's really pretty. You will have seen it in my latest thrift haul. I'll leave a link to that down below if you would like to watch it and you've not watched it yet, but it's a really pretty dress. And I've just put this little shawl, cardigan, bolero thing on because I don't like my upper arms. I need to start doing my exercises again because I'm getting flibbity flabbity, which is fine. You know, we all go through seasons. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go and chill on the sofa for a bit before I have to go out. <laughs> Is the the one that the one that the one that the 
hello my lovelies it is friday morning i just threw a dress on um i'm here editing today's video which is a thrift haul i'll leave the link down below because it'll already be out before this video's out i'm tired today oh i am i'm tired today going out um D, D playing D, D without uh having a night's sleep the night before not easy because there's maths involved if you want to improve your maths go join the D, &D group because <laughs> you have to do a lot of maths but um yeah it was really fun last night i really enjoyed it yeah we had a lot of fun and then i came home and got into bed and just bleh, just became a zombified mummy for the whole night i didn't move i didn't breathe i didn't do anything i just became comatose and woke up this morning feeling hungover without having any alcohol or any fun with drugs or anything it's a really weird feeling but yeah i'm here editing my video and just chilling with the fan on i'm sorry if you can hear the fan but i'm not having the weather's gone really hot it's autumn please just sunshine go away that's how i feel gizmo was refusing to eat breakfast this morning so we rang the vet and we've get, we've got him some antibiotics in case he's got some kind of infection and we've got him some like special food that helps his digestion to add to his food that he already takes so we'll see how it goes they've given him some tablets as well that help stimulate type oh dear they help stimulate appetite so hopefully hopefully fingers crossed he will start feeling better he's a lot more himself in his personality today which is really good like he was sat at the bottom of the stairs waiting for me and he hasn't done that for about a week so that was really good so we're starting to turn a tide i think with my little baby but yeah my whole thoughts and feelings are just how's gizmo where's gizmo how's gizmo <laughs> because he's my best mate like the he's my best mate he's my little baby and so all i've been doing all week is just worrying about my dog believe it or not that's all i care about but we're going to be editing and yeah just trying to stay cool i guess it's really warm so we've got all the curtains shut in the house um just trying to keep the sun out we get a lot of sun in our house so we have to be careful not much going on today this week's been a bit of a weird old week hasn't it don't you think? Let me know down below what you think of my week. And send prayers and good thoughts for my gizmo. Because we're really hoping that he's okay. Can you tell I'm tired? I just want to curl up and go bye byes But I'm editing because I'm a good girl. So let's hope we get this video out and ready to go on time. I really hope so. Fingers crossed. Oh. Well, I've done it again. I came to edit the video and I'd forgotten to say goodbye to you all. This week was a really difficult week in many ways because my dog wasn't well. And because of that, I was just concentrating all my energy on looking after my dog, who is right here, as you can see. He's feeling a bit better now. He's had some antibiotics. He's had some things to help him start eating again. And he's feeling a lot, lot better now. I'm very, very grateful for that because I was so worried about my little baby. But he's doing much better now. I'm very, very grateful for that. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely stay till the end of the video where I will have a link to a really great video that you'll enjoy as well as a whole playlist. So if you want to kick up your feet and grab another cup of tea and spend some more time with me you can do i would love that but uh if you're new here don't forget you can click the subscribe button ring that little bell so you always know when i upload i'm usually here on a friday but sometimes on a monday depends on what's going on but uh i hope that you have a wonderful magical week and i will see you in the next video take care guys and i'm so sorry i keep forgetting to uh record sorry <laughs>